My name is John Thuma. I'm here with Russ Ratchin, and today we're going to talk about App Center and do a brief intro. So, what is up with this thing called App Center? The basic idea here is that we are taking advanced analytics and allowing them to be run by a less technical business user. So, if you are able to grasp these advanced analytics conceptually, but maybe you don't know SQL, maybe you don't know Java or R. Uh, there's no reason, obviously, that you can't still derive valuable insights from the data. So this is about presenting that business user with a form-based front end to run the analytics. Great. And this looks like it's App Center right here, right? This is it, right looks in front as, of you. Looks as easy to use as my uh, iPhone here. You just got to click on one of these and uh, hmm. fill out a couple form fields and off you go. press the run button. All right, well, let's give it a shot and take a look. All right. So you can see right here that these are actually all organized by industry. Um, as I scroll down here, I'm actually going to go ahead and select this one right here, which is admission diagnosis procedure paths. So the idea here is that uh, individual patients are entering a hospital with an admission diagnosis. And then after that point, what are the most frequent sequences or paths of procedures in the hospital that mm -hmm. these individuals undergo? So let me show you how it's run here. Sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter in a title. Uh, it's one of the required fields, just need to basically give it uh, a name for okay. this run, and then uh, I can enter tags, which will make this more searchable uh, once I have the result set. Uh, and then I have to enter in a diagnosis and, and a couple other fields here. So chest pain is the, uh, the default diagnosis, but I can actually just start typing in here. And, and as I type, uh, it is going to look in the database at this list of at this data and find all of these different diagnoses. So basically, right here in the palm of my hand, I have every diagnosis that appears in the database. So Very nice. let's go ahead and, uh, and choose, I'm just gonna choose shortness of breath. And uh, minimum procedure count afterwards, maximum, right? How many, how many events or procedures do mm -hmm. I wanna see after this? And, and that's really all I gotta fill in and I can hit the run button. Fantastic. So you're basically running an empath query right now, aren't you? That's you don't even know it. <laughs> That's exactly right. It's huh. basically running in the uh, in the Astro platform underneath App Center. Excellent. Excellent. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I mean, it is as easy to use as a as, a, as an iPhone would be, or just any web application would be. Now, this is just a template, right? This isn't an actual running something I could buy from Teradata, is it? So this is you know more of what we think of as probably a, a jumping off point or. Uh, uh, you know, this is to get you started. Okay. Um, maybe this is exactly fits the bill for what you want to do, but maybe you want to make some modifications to it. Maybe your mm -hmm. input data is a little bit different. Um, so it's can, a, a template of the art of the possible or a guide for me to build my own app. That, that's exactly right. Excellent. Looks yeah. like it's done. It, it does look like it's done. So I can go ahead and click on this. And again, as I, uh, I'm going to click on one of these visualizations here so we can look at the data set. Didn't have to write. A, a line of SQL or any code, but I'm going to assume here that maybe I have domain expertise over what some of this information means, because to be honest with you, I personally don't know what a lot of it means. But we can start here with shortness of breath, which mm -hmm. is the admission diagnosis, and then we start expanding out on this visual. Uh, I see on the left that where your, wherever your mouse is, is, it's exactly what's coming up in, on the left uh, side there in that little bar there. That's exactly right. So we can actually follow here, right? how many individuals out of the total uh, data set uh, that had this admission diagnosis actually followed this procedure path. So I see again, a percentage number in the middle there. That's, is that the, like a distributed number of, of a ratio? Is that's, that yeah, so exact. So that's, the, you know, of, of those who came in with shortness of breath, 2.24% followed this path that oh, you can see here on your left. And again, you know, just to make the point, I, I don't understand what all these procedures are, but someone who has domain expertise here certainly will. And this Absolutely. will be immediately valuable. That's pretty interesting, pretty powerful. So thanks very much for your time. Let's just uh, conclude here that App Center is not a development tool, is not a BI tool. Uh, is, that, is that accurate? That, that's correct. This is very much about enhancing uh, your, your current processes in your organization and not replacing anything. Not, we want you to continue to use your same development tools, continue to use your same BI tools. But App Center can help you to execute these advanced analytics. It looks like it lowers the barrier to entry into advanced analytics into, into Aster. Indeed. All right. Thanks, Russ. Thank you. Bye.